Hello and welcome to working with PDF in Node.js. In this video, we'll talk about PDF Make, a JavaScript library that can be used to create PDF files on server side as well as front end side, client side. Okay, in this video, we'll look through the node part. Okay, we'll use the PDF Make on our node application and create PDF files. I have already created created the doc documents the project and i uh, have categorized those codes into four branches okay and we'll look through them one after another and we'll start from the basic to kind of uh, advanced things and i'll show how what we can do with pdf mix and how we can do that okay Okay, so we are we are in the first branch here. So simply require the file module, fs module, and we install the PDF make. We need to give fonts to the PDF make. So we have downloaded these fonts from Google Fonts and place them in the root our directory of our project. And we create the instance of PDF make. We define the doc doc definition so this is the content of the pdf so we have first initially given this the uh, just the hello as a content and we have we created this pdf doc and we call the pdf create pdf kit document and pass this doc definition here we'll pass the options here like the file structure and this and that all size that kind of thing let's ignore that for now and the PDF kit will return the PDF kit instance, which is a readable stream. We'll pass this writable stream to the PDF kit instance and we'll call this int simply like that. And the file will be created here. Let me delete this first. And let's run the file. Okay, I have created this here. Copy path and let's check on the browser. Okay. And hello world. Here it is. Okay, now let's check out header and footer. Uh, I simply comment commented this and define another doc here and we have, we'll pass this content later okay so first initially i define a content and give some styling here this is the inline styling we can give the style and name of the style as well we'll talk about the style next and as we need to know that the header and footer will extend to the page up to the document the length of the document so i have created some empty string and just concatenate push to the that array and we have this header put doc let's see this part first so we'll talk about that a dynamic page kind of thing later so we have this header we'll use image in the header uh, we can give path to the path to the image or we can give uh, the basic c4 string of that image so here we are giving the path from here. This is the image we are using. Let's save it. Start and this will create the header footer pal. Copy path and here it is. Okay, so this is the header image and this is all those contents and the uh, content extend. And we have the header and footer on both of the pages. Okay. Uh, yeah, what if we need to show some dynamic content like the page number here? We'll show that next. So I've defined the header and footer. We can pass function to the header and footer as well. And the function will have current page, page count, and page size. We can use this current page. 
and so the page number here okay so we have these copyright notes and in the right side you have this page number okay let's run that again and we should see the page number now and here it is okay page one and page two and now let's talk about styles Uh, we have created another doc styling doc and here we simply write the style and pass the string name of the style and we can define our style in this section we have our styles object and this will simply take the styles so here is header and we give this report as a header and we can give text the style text and as well as we can combine inline styling as well as this form of styling so here we are doing that by using the inline style here let's run this file and uh we can see this content here here it is we can define the style and we can reuse as much as needed and this subtitle will always be the same so we can reuse that styles and next let's Check under branch port and here we'll talk about list and tables okay initially let's talk about list this is order list and another list in the order list we can pass any strings there or any objects there and we'll we create a link as well these are the links if we want to Make a text clickable will pass simply the link and the link to be clicked and on the other list we will simply give them some links here as well and let's run that first and simply click that link thing and here it is okay this is, this is clickable okay and these all these are clickable okay now let's talk about the table okay now let's talk about the table so i have defined the table here and we'll pass this table we'll push this table to the content later so in this table we have saved the save the header row as three just to set it as header row and if the the content extend more than a page the header will be presented on all those pages okay so these three rows will be presented on all the pages okay and so we have this the first column here will row span of three so this this row is span this will span to the three three rows and the last last will span the four column okay full span four and since we already span this this column to other three and these three will basically be empty okay and on the second row this three has already been spanned so we'll simply pass empty content here and we'll give this first year and second year of row full span of two okay and cool span up to since we give cool span up to to this this has been collapsed like here we pass empty object here and for the sake and third as well ask one pass that and ask the empty for this one and on the last one these three will be empty so we'll pass the empty object and for other four we'll pass the strings there okay the text and for the data we have Pass these data okay as I have told you but if the content extend and let's do that again with the content extend the page the headers should be repeated that's why we provided this header of three the top three roads should be repeated okay that's it and let's say and the brands 
that's the last one but what if uh, we we whenever we create uh, the report kind of thing we may want to send this to the client or we'll send this by email or response back to the client so we need to know when the file is prepared so for that we'll create a uh, we'll do all the same and before that we'll create the right stream and we'll listen the finish event on the right stream okay so once this event this function is called we know that the file is created and we can do whatever is needed here okay and another way is that we can make a method we'll simply return the promise and we'll, which will resolve once the write is complete uh, once again it's also by listening to the finish event on the write history okay in this way we can work with pdf make and it's kind of nice to work in the pdf make file and you can check the documentation on dot org and on the we have you have the documentation here and later than that there is this playground you can check change and do whatever is needed we'll modify and test your settings here before even writing your own code and this will be useful yeah that's it about pdf make have a good day bye bye